Hello there. Welcome to another Sims 2 video where I will update you on everything that is going on. Right. What I will start with is you can probably see a bit of a difference to the house. Um, let me just uh, put the walls up there which won't make any difference but as you can see uh, the actual style of the house is pretty much the same uh, what happened was I, I decided to give myself lots, uh, lots of money because I was a bit bored and I thought oh come on let's speed things up let's just get lots of money blah 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 so I got lots of money then what I did is I moved to another property and it was a bit crap uh, <laughs> uh, but other things I have done is now that this was just last night I really wish that I was recording because my character was looking through the uh, the telescope there because uh, because of his job I mean uh, his job is now CEO in the business career. Oh, that's right. Uh, yeah, change careers. <laughs> I reached the top of the gamer career and it was a bit, a bit poop. Um, and for some reason, and this is kind of what bugs me a little bit, is that he always brings somebody home with him. Now, not that that's a problem, but what makes it a little bit of a problem is if I want to invite somebody over. And so we kept bringing uh, somebody home. Uh, before that, that person was zuz, 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 her, Rosemary Landry, that was it. Every day he would bring her home and I thought, why? <laughs> Uh, as you could probably see by our uh, friendship stats there, we kind of uh, got it on. Talking of relationships, Yvette Larea. Now, she was the one that my, uh, my sim kept getting so besotted with. He would have these, like, these dream bubbles pop up with her face in them and they'd be all love arts going... <laughs> and whatever, <laughs> Um, so I thought, right, I traced her down, found her, uh, I kept calling her until uh, like they became friends, and then obviously started inviting her over, uh, which, what well, I could do that now, actually. Um, you can probably tell the house has had a bit of an upgrade as well. I, I will explain that in just a moment. Uh, but let's uh, call Sim and invite her over. She should be okay. I mean, I've, I've, I don't know. Actually, I'll, I'll try and find out what her job is uh, this time because she obviously works. Uh, when I've tried to call, um, sort of. I guess you could say early afternoon and she hasn't been in, so, uh, well, I'll say she hasn't been in, the, this is the answer to the machine, da, 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 da. and, uh, oh, yeah, that was probably a bit of a stupid thing to do because she is right there, <sighs> okay, call her invite over, okay. Um, so, yeah, as for that, uh, they are basically sort of in love, blah, 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 and everything else. Ooh, she's going to gussy up. I always sound a bit dirty when it comes from a woman. Gussy. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, the house upgrade. Um, as you can probably see down here, I have lots of funds. Uh, I got a bit bored 
and gave myself lots of money to sort of speed things up a little bit. Um, so I was just sped things up a little bit. But the thing was, I was still working. I was still not buying kind of like everything that I wanted. Um, but when I got to the, the the top of the career that I'm in now, which is the business career, and already you know, I'm at CEO status because of uh, having lots of skill points and everything. It's you know it enables you to. Uh, to uh, sorry, I, I got I forgot what I was saying. I was too busy thinking about uh, about my visitor. Um, oh, that was the thing as well. Yeah, what I was going to say. Um, when they greeted each other, and when they were. Uh, Sort of well, when she was leaving, the thing was, they would like have a little smooch, you know, like well, as, as you'll see uh, now, and they greet, they sort of eat the face off each other. Um, they were doing that before they even had like the love and the crush and, and all that so so yeah I was thinking how can they be doing this like kissing greeting when they're only best friends well the well actually yeah they were best friends at the time and so uh, that was a bit of a bit of a baffling thing to happen um, anyway I moved out like I say uh, but the problem was when you move out and this is something I didn't know uh, if you don't put things in your inventory like the telescope that I was given I didn't put it in the inventory when you move out you sell everything and I mean everything uh, I moved to this new house up on the hills or whatever because it said you need a big house blah 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 and I thought okay so let's let's move out uh, I didn't like it much and so I went to move back into this house when I, when I did, and I looked, and I thought, right, so, there was like, nothing in the house, no furniture, absolutely nothing, yet in the, uh, the, the picture, like the, uh, the neighbourhood overview, the car was still in the drive, but, when I actually like, bought the house and uh, sort of got to see what was in it, there was absolutely nothing. So I uh, basically went and bought me uh, the, the supercar or whatever. So that's my car for work now. Uh, I don't know if I did this last time, I built this big wall around so that animals and stuff can't get in the garden to uh, to keep digging it up um, as for those as I say yeah I went and brought like top end stuff yeah, I thought well I've got loads of money and really you could probably furnish easily 10 houses with like well, I'll say ten. Let's say at least five houses with a million dollars, fully furnished with pretty much everything you need. <laughs> so, uh, so that's what I did. I mean, I've got a well, the, the top of the range uh, shower there. There's the sink there. There's the the toilet uh, just round there. Uh, 
The phone is that, that really sleek smart one. Uh, there's the table there. I, I don't think I really have everything that I actually need, if you know what I mean. Uh, even though, you know, I kind of had the money to buy everything. That's why I've got the big massive TV, yeah, I've got the game console. Uh, that's pretty much just a... Oh, excuse me, I need to sniff. Uh, uh, basic bookcase. Uh, the sofa. You know, them basically things with like the most comfort, the most attributes, basically. Uh, there was this uh, love tub, which uh, gets quite a lot of use. Not by me, actually. And not in that way. It gets a lot of use by visitors and as you can see uh, my visitor is going to now go in there. Uh, the thing was that before I had it on the ground as in not the grass ground that's where I decided to build this deck um, because it saves those walking down down steps all the way up and then get in and I thought yeah, no, I'm going to build this uh, this deck on the side of my house and plonk it on there, basically. Uh, I also made a swimming pool because that was just for building up body points. Um, and building up body points is something I will... Uh, get to in just a moment because there's a reason why I want my sim to build up body points. Uh, the toilet up the uh, no, toilet upstairs, well toilet and sink are upstairs are the, the same as downstairs, like they're the they're the ones that give the best environment points. Uh, the bath got gives the best comfort environment points, blah 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 blah. Ah, one thing I forgot to do was buy a computer. Because for some reason I don't think he has the computer that was originally given to him. Because this was the strange thing. Uh, uh, at the beginning of the, the game, when you first move into a property, this uh, Mr. Hunter or something will come along and drop a package off. In that package is the computer, the one that you saw in previous videos if you've been watching with like the rabbit thing on the side. Uh, I don't know why he uh, brings that, but he does. So, anyway, I haven't got that. And actually I do need the computer, so what I will do while, uh, while you are watching me and watching me do nothing and babble on, um, <laughs> I might as well, uh, might as well actually buy a computer to uh, to put on my desk there. Uh, now, as you can see as well, I bought uh, a treadmill to build up the body points, which I'll explain in just a moment. Sorry if I'm a bit close to the mic. I'm kind of trying to look really close at the <laughs> at the pictures there. Uh, there's that one that gives Fun 7 Environment 3. But then you've got that one. Ah, which doesn't give as much, so we shall have that one because it's the best one, basically. Hey little sister, what have you done? So there we go. Then, like a bit of a plonker, I went and bought a chair for the bench. Not realising I'd already bought this chair and I'd placed it sort of over here um, when I was like, buying and building stuff and blah blah blah. Well, not so much building stuff. Well, yeah, building stuff because I've replaced the staircase with a normal one again. Uh, I decided to get one of those funky wardrobes. But the thing was with that is... I had to put a wall going across there so that the wardrobe would work, if you know what I mean. I tried putting the wall back a little bit, but it didn't seem to work for some reason. So, 
Um, well, as you can see there, big posh four-poster bed. Posh table, and there's an alarm clock. <laughs> uh, these are the mirrored doors on the... Uh, I don't know if they're all mirrored, or... I don't think they all are, but anyway. So, yeah, basically, that's it. That's kind of the update. As for the body points, this guy called Gabriel, he keeps coming along, kicking over my bins. Uh, we had a bit of a... A bit of a kerfuffle. <laughs> yeah, a bit of a to-do, as you may say. He, we came to blows, basically. But not in the sense of come to blows fighting. Uh, and it was basically over that Samantha Cordial, the one who's kind of a bit of a thing for my scene. I couldn't help it, uh, but apparently what they did, she invited my sim out to somewhere. Uh, next thing you know, there's like a group of them, and I'm like, oh, so it's not just me then, it's a group, okay, well, whatever. I just like, wanted to get out the house, go to a different lot, and whatever. Uh, things happened, arguments happened, and that Gabriel decided to get all pissy with me. So, he's it, it, sort of, we're kind of okay now. We're not like arch enemies or anything like that. Um, but yeah, so that kind of happened. So what I'm doing is building up body points. Uh, to get my guy all muscly and fit and everything. So that I can basically kick his ass. Because I am so fed up with him. He'll, he'll walk past the house. He'll kick my bin over. Because he's an arsehole, basically. There's no, no other explanation. He's an arsehole. Just plain and simple. Uh, it, he's kind of always had, I think, something ag against Musim for some reason. I have no idea why. Um, so that is why I am, um, like I say, <laughs> building up, uh, <laughs> building up his uh, body points so that he can get all fit and muscly and whatever. And basically, as I say, go somewhere and kick his butt. Because I, like I say, I'm fed up with the guy. <laughs> He's the one, for some reason, whenever you look through the telescope during the day, he will come to your house and literally just make his way into your house and, you know, prod, poke you, whatever. And it's like, well, excuse me. Who are you? What do you want? Why are you in my house abusing me? <laughs> I mean, so, I, I, I know who he is. I finally had enough. I'm going to build up strength and everything. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go to a lot where he, where he is. Or... If he happens to walk past the house while I'm around, I will go out and seriously get into a fight with him and, well, like I say, hopefully kick his butt if my guy is hard enough, you know what I mean? You know, which I reckon he should be. So, uh, well, let's do the deed. Well, hey, yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the extreme jerkiness there. Uh, as I explained previously, yeah. Uh, Laptop is deciding that it's uh, 
kind of not wanting to behave very well. Uh, one thing I want to change in the options before he gets out. <laughs> probably tell them when I picked the play changes about two minutes ago and it's still not coming up with the box to say would you like to keep these settings there we go it suddenly pops up as I mention it yes I would love to keep those settings please thank you <laughs> mention it and it will appear <laughs> Uh, did I mention earlier that I got abducted by aliens when I was looking through the um, the telescope? I'm not sure if I did, because I did a little bit of kind of recording uh, commentary actually before I actually started recording the video. Um, oh, okay, so let's see if that sort of speeds things up a little bit. Um, I really do apologise, I really wanted to make this into a decent series and, you know, to have, like, good quality uh, recordings. Uh, it doesn't seem to be happening, so... Anyway, that's uh, the update, that was a little bit of woohoo you got at the end there. Um, I will leave it there, because... Uh, well, I really don't want to record too much of all this jerkiness and that. It's like I said, the game runs absolutely fine when I'm not recording. So, I will see you next time. And for now, goodbye. <laughs>